Selam. I am Lugini Chiti from Mauritius. I'm uh, currently now in Shirdi. I'm feeling very blessed. But Baba has given me the opportunity and graced me that blessing to be here in Versailles Sangam for the three days program. I didn't how I didn't know how I reached here, but uh, I will say for me it is a miracle because I didn't think about coming. I didn't know I got the invitation, and when everything, my work was I was busy in my work. Though I was busy, uh, I don't know how it happens, but I managed to plan everything and to be here today. So I'm feeling very grateful to Baba, and I couldn't stop thanking Baba or whatever he's doing what for his grace uh, I just I just have no words to express so my very recent one uh, as I was saying every day at home in my country we were one and a half hour behind in the year so by the time I take my breakfast and prepare to go to office I normally I usually put on the Shirdi live version and I let it play while I take my breakfast before come, before going to office. And every time uh, when I watch, I think the time is like that. I don't know but what time it is here in India. But every time while, while I watch, I can see that Baba is changing cloth. And they are cleaning, the priests are cleaning and they are putting new cloth. So I, I, every day it was like seeing which color Baba is wearing, which color Baba is wearing. It, it has become um, like um, some like uh, every day it, it, it's for me like every day I should follow to see which color of clothes Baba is wearing so when uh, I thought in my mind I say when I will come to Shidi Baba I will give you a cloth so uh, eventually it happened but I'm here upon invitation and yeah but Baba chose the the devotee chose the his devotee to convey my message but i'm here i'm so again i'm saying i'm i'm so thankful to baba that i'm here and um, i asked someone in the group uh, where do you think i can i can buy a cloth for baba and uh, someone replied uh, to tell me but he he didn't know where you can buy one but uh, uh, you can you can make from outside but not from here because he have a person was saying but he didn't know where I can find I said okay I also want to buy a children to take home so um, while uh, while doing my shopping wandering around in Shidi so I went into a shop another shop and so on so for I did not find any so I don't know how it happened but yesterday I went to the shop just next to the Hanuman Mandir I went there and I was just looking for a size of Charita but we don't we, we don't have one in English so I get into it while I was looking everywhere. So I found the children, I could not make my choice, marble or brass or silver. Then um, I was struck to find what cloth are viable there. So I asked and the person said, yes, the kids are viable. And, to mo and today, this morning, I went and selected the color I was looking for. I got a nice color, a nice blue color, and I brought it to Baba. And I also found my children because yesterday I could not decide whether I took I will have to take the marble one, I will have to take the brass one. So I today with uh, the help of urgency, so he helped me to choose, but I chose the brass one. So the churn and the cloth and some churn also I bought for gift, I took everything to the mandir. So I went to the mandir inside and um, it was easy for, it was not that difficult, queue was not that long. And I managed to put to give my churn to the priest to touch to Baba Samadhi and gave me back and the cloth also. When I, I came out, uh, someone was at uh, the, the, the tree, uh, the neem tree outside. So uh, the priest also was there. He took uh, the children with me. And so he touched to the, it's not the samadhi. Um, I don't know how you call it, the neem tree. When he gave me back and that person there was an official there where he was working and that person came all the way through to help me because my bag was heavy so he came with me he helped me he showed me where to go for donation and also that person gave me some uh, neem uh, 
neem uh, leaves in my hand so i felt so blessed and so happy and he came all around until i was at Durkamai. so i will have to say many thanks to baba again uh, for having given me this grace my my request to baba um this is what i had in my heart and in my mind when i embarked on that journey i always ask baba to enlighten me i want to live a purpose of my life to 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 keep me connected to him this is what i want in life so when i was planning to come for the sai sangam from the 22nd to the 25th i was also being a travel agent i used to search for flights to 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 search every routing possible i was thinking maybe after the darshan here in shidi i will go and visit my son for some days in canada in montreal so he's a student there he studies in montreal and he also worked for time there so i was planning maybe after the darshan i will go for some days i just i just told him like that but i was not serious when seeing the price of a ticket also i was saying no maybe i will come only to india and i will go back to Mauritius. so um, it happened that my son called me it was on diwali day um, i was having my dinner my husband so he called me and uh, he told me um, you know would you like to come to montreal you would really like to come because uh, my friend is going uh, is going out of city for one week and uh, this place uh, the apartment is empty would you like to come i said yes i'll see uh, but i'll have to find out yes i would like to so on monday morning i was wondering baba would i be able to go how would i manage because work also is so stressful and some problems there were at work i need to be there to manage these problems how would i do i don't know so i heard from some devotees from videos that when you don't know what to do you put a yes and you put a no and you pray you put it to baba's feet when you select one i say whatever baba will say this i will i will do so i was thinking i was hoping it will be a no because i was thinking seeing all these conditions baba will say no you should not go so i was surprised to get a yes when i get a yes i said no baba you said yes are you sure it's a yes so it said yes okay no problem i i'll make my arrangement it was on monday morning so i checked the flight and the flight was available for me to travel on tuesday really you will fly you will find flight available on the eve of the departure so i managed to book my flight and i show myself my ticket and uh, you know all the routings I was trying because from Mauritius you should go to Europe when you connect to Canada or you can go via Dubai. I was checking the fares also were quite high. So I, I issued one part of my ticket. I said, so I go to Paris. Paris, I go to Montreal. Montreal, I will travel to uh, Bombay. From Bombay, I will, so I will come to Chile. So it was like that plan. Then the, my, the cost of my air ticket, it cost me over 100,000 rupees. I, I know that it is very expensive though, because the way I'm, I was making my itinerary it was very expensive. So I checked, though I checked all the flights before, it was expensive. Rather, you would like to go via Paris or you would like to go via London. So at night I was sleeping, I was telling Baba, you know, the price of a ticket is coming very high for a trip like that, just two weeks. Anyway, I'll see. So I don't know, um, Baba touched my mind to say, why don't you check via London? I say, okay, Mama, I'll check that in the morning. In the morning, the first thing I did, I go into, on, into my system, I check via London, and it was true. It was 20,000 rupees less that ticket, rather than going back to Paris then to come to, to Mumbai. I say, yeah, yeah, I checked before it was not available. Maybe there has been some cancellation. So, then my trip was made Mauritius via Paris. I went to Montreal one week, went to London, then London to Mumbai. Again, when I was coming from Montreal to London, the flight was delayed by two hours and when I had to remove my luggage. At first, I was having five hours to connect, which is sufficient to take out your luggage, clear custom and reboard. So when I saw that delay, I was afraid. And when I said to Baba, how would I do? Will I miss my flight, my taxis book? How would I do to go to Shidi if ever I'm late there? So what happened? Though there has been the two hours delay, when I came to my immigration, normally in London, you should put one hour, one hour or two hours.
to clear immigration and when I come to the immigration I was shocked to see there was no one in front of me I was the only one to go through so I went quickly and the officer he, he asked me um, where are you going I said I'm taking connection and he asked me oh, uh, do you have to remove your luggage I said yeah he didn't ask me any other question just stamp my passport and let me go and when I, I came out my luggage were there waiting so I just take and, and, and catch the flight and I had sufficient time to catch my flight and also uh, I um, went and I had the two hours I had my my lunch and I boarded the flight I came on time it was it was all set it was not a big deal not to I was afraid of missing my flight but I did not miss my flight so all of it went until I reached 3D what I would like to recall in my trip during my trip in Montreal, there was something, an incident I would say that happened, and um, this uh, I I relate to you. What happened when I, I travel? I normally I did not do that. This is uh, my last trip. I carry on my Sasha Rita with me. I said in the flight when I'm not sleepy, I take my Sasha Rita we read. Now, um, that book, uh, I did not read on the plane and uh, while I was in Montreal, my son, he, he, he rented a car to have a trip to go outside Montreal to go to the Quebec city, which is two and a half hours, two to three hours from the city. And um, I was telling him, you know, you, you will take the car and you know, I'm afraid when you drive a car because the way you drive, I'm afraid, but because you, 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 ride, you drive a car, at very high speed he said no no I will not drive my car you know he will he will keep on saying the same thing but when he drives the car he will speed and this made me this make me um, like scared you know because I don't want any danger any problem to happen so I said you know what I'll do I carry on my side such a job with me in the car when when you will not listen to me you will you will speed I take my book and read Eventually, what he what, what he did, he was speeding, and yeah, and I was telling him, you know, I will look in front of me, I will feel scared, and I, I will not stop shouting in the car. So let me not look in front of me. Let me look in my search children. Let me read. I was reading some some paragraphs I was sharing with him. Then, um, so when after having having done, I think more than one and a half hour trip. It was only one hour left to reach the destination, so um, I felt I felt him slowing the car. Then uh, he parked the car. I said, "What happened?" No, I, I didn't ask what happened. He, he told me the police is behind me. The police stopped him, and the police came. They, they talked French. There, the police came and talked to him. It was a man who came and talked to him. He, he told him, "You know how much you are supposed to do on a, on a highway like that." And uh, he hesitantly say, said 100 kilometers. And the police just said, Yeah, you are right, it's 100 kilometers or 120, we can tolerate. You did 148, and you are liable to, to, to be fined uh, and to, to sanctions should be taken against you. My self saturator was in my hand, and I was uh, praying to Baba, Baba, please do something. I don't want, want him to happen, I don't want anything. To happen to him because he's student there he's a young boy there I don't want him to get into anything legal um, the things like that I don't want him to get into trouble so then uh, the, the, the policeman was there the window and he looked at him he was talking to him and he asked him uh, uh, he asked us um, how are we related so I, I told him we are mother and son and we are traveling to Quebec City we are going for a visit he asked for how many days are you here? What are you doing here? We said for tourist uh, reason. We are here to visit for some days. When I'm, we are, I'm going back, and um, the, gen the policeman took uh, the driving license and the insurance, and said uh, he had a look and said he went to his car and he came said okay you know I'm letting you go, but if again you are speeding on the highway and. I receive a call when I will I, I will find you I will I will apply the maximum penalty what should be applied to you and you know I, when the, I we thank the policeman I say thank you very much sir this will not happen again thank you very much and the is still in my hand and he let us go 
I would say that in normal case, he would not have escaped that fine. So for me, um, this was Baba intervention at the right time. And you know what also? Once the policeman talked to him, when he slowed the vehicle and he started driving under, under 110. 100, 110, the vehicle you can control. And then for me, it was easy drive because I now I was able to enjoy the greenery. I was able to enjoy the drive and we had a nice time. We, we, we went, we visited, had our lunch and came back the same way. And I would say that Baba felt that I was so so scared, you know, of a, of a high speed. And Baba came at the right time and he also came to rescue us from that serious uh, offense, the fine and everything that could have applied to him. I say very thank you again, Baba, and thank you, thank you, thank you again. Om Sai Ram.